Hey everyone, welcome back to Of Ash and Dust, where I will admit that the last episode was on the shorter side, so I didn't quite, um, you know, measure it in my head correctly. Um, four minutes though, like I mean 26 minutes versus 30, my bad. Gonna compensate today by making this into a longer episode, by today I mean... <laughs> straight after recording the previous part. Uh, so that's why I know, that's why I know. Anyways, I think what we're gonna do, as I said, is we'll go down into New Londo and... What the fuck though, what if the Ember is not here though? We'll just have to hope. I'm gonna be honest with you, um, based on the previous Embers, they do at least seem to be in the same area. Even if they're not... Fuck, come on, lock on. Cooperate with me, please. Oh, these guys are bitches. The dude is not here. I'm hoping this gives... Cool. Because otherwise this would be a bitch <coughs> without transient curses, my bad. As I said, my coughs are almost gone, but not completely. So yeah, what I was saying is that the... Embers themselves seem to be in the, like, same general vicinity. It's not like if one was in the, I don't know, catacombs, then it's going to be in Anolondo next. I mean, that would be a real dick move. One thing that sucks, though, is that... Oh, what was that old stick? What the shit was that? That seemed to be like a new item or something. Okay, we're gonna have to check later because transient curse, it's running out. Time is ticking. It didn't just run out, did it? It did? Fuck! What? Transient curses don't last as long as they used to. Shit, 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 shit. We are in a bit of trouble. I did find it weird, I was like... Did something just go? Like, you know, you can tell on your little uh, character when you have it applied. Oh, this is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. I'm hoping they at least give you some. I mean, I'm like taking no damage from them at least. So even if things like really go wrong. Chunko? Tight Knight Chunk. Even if things go really wrong, uh, I should be able to just like run through or something nice. The other option would be, of course, if they just give you more transient curses. That dealt a lot of damage. That dealt a lot of damage. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, come on. It goes from your inventory. If it runs out, doesn't it? <clears throat> Wonderful. Well, this is going to be a pleasant area to get through. Okay, here's the deal. Yep, just go through. Yeah. 
It would have worked too if it didn't like disappear from my um, item bar. Yeah, this might be soul steak. Could go for a steak right about now. I wouldn't mind. This is gonna run out in like the middle of it. I can already tell. What the shit is that? Is that a vagrant? Is that a black phantom vagrant? I think it was. Shit, shit, shit. I'm gonna be like big trouble when this runs out in like a couple of seconds probably. Um Although they might have just given you some more leeway here. Yeah, just go, 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 go. You know what would be great? If he sold transient curses, that would be like massive. Or if he could help me. Is that the... Just chilling up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I did get the ring from Sif, right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That was kind of exactly what I was hoping for. I think he sells them in the vanilla game too, maybe. Not 100% percent, percent sure. It's gonna make things way easier. Whoa! I I fucking knew they were gonna like use him to ambush. Anyways, this guy's a bitch. It's not the issue. It's kind of a lot of ghosts here. Nice. And I, of course, I immediately get two free ones. Yeah, I, I really had a feeling that they were gonna use the boy to ambush you somewhere. They're doing like stabby stabbies from above. Yeah, they are. So anyways... Can you just... Hot speed running strats. Coming through with only the best tips. Hell yeah, I'm like loaded on transient curses. Absolutely loaded. Oh, nice. Red sign. I still need to go to the Painted World as well. I have the item. What the hell was that noise? I have the item, so... Interesting. Jagged Ghost Blade. Doesn't, this doesn't count as a curse weapon as far as I remember. That's pretty cool though. You see, I think that activated the item. That's actually kind of sick. GG devs. <coughs> cool.
That is a vagrant. Hey, you think you're gonna ambush me, right? I don't think so. Perfect timing. I'm really hoping the ghosts are gonna be gone at the bottom like they are in vanilla because otherwise this is gonna be a little bit more challenging. Oh shit. Nice. They actually gave you... That's so cool. That is so cool. That's a good that's a really good decision because I've always find, found it kind of weird that this area does not have a secondary bonfire. I mean it kind of makes sense the of course the offset is that the area itself is fairly easy to navigate like there's a lot of shortcuts but still the fact that Um, you just have fire link, especially when you're going to the four kings. It's it's a pretty big run back, so I think good decision, good idea. That was a good idea. Play the jingle, ha! <laughs> Vagrant. These guys are pretty funny. And this is the Black Phantom version, so this is the one that's actually dangerous. And deals mad damage. I don't think so. The question is... Yeah, you work like the other guys. So, parryable but non-repostable. Seems to be like a theme with these like larger humanoid type enemies. Ain't taking no chances with the. with the buffs. I mean, this is. F these guys are. the rocket. Man, these guys are hilarious. What a weird enemy, right? I like that they put them here because... If you don't know the... Dark Souls official 420 lore... There's like some very, very specific trigger... Uh, to get a Vagrant to spawn. And these versions, the Black Phantom versions... Have like an even smaller chance of spawning... Instead of the normal version. Um, and honestly, most of the people who have played this game have probably never seen a Vagrant in the wild, especially since it's tied to... Oh, I remember what it is. There's a chance they spawn if you leave like a large bloodstain. Like a bloodstain with like a ton of souls and humanities and everything. If I remember correctly, that's the trigger for spawning the Vagrant. I've only ever seen, like, I think I've seen, like, one, maybe, out of all my playthroughs, outside of, like, you know, uh, this and the Binding of Isaac mod, where they spawn kind of more frequently. I've only, I think, ever seen one of them. Au Naturel. I am praying that this is the very large ember and it is <sighs> thank you game thank you for not fucking with probably one of the most important items in the game man these guys are this mod is really good I keep saying it I've said it before I this is so much better than daughters of ash which is strange because Use humanity to fill dark Estus. Heals HP. Oh shit. That's pretty cool. 
So you have like an alternative healing source. Shit. That is cool. The visuals on it look good as well. So yeah, I don't know, like... Daughters of Ash is the Dark Souls mod that everybody hypes. But I'm gonna be honest with you. I think this is way better. Like... Mainly because it's not a... There's a, mo a lot more restraint here. Speaking of, I picked up that item, right? Oil stick or something. Uh, is it a key? It's definitely not a spell. Oh, it's a weapon, isn't it? Maybe. There it is. Oil stick. Wooden stick with its end wrapped numerous times with dank and oily cloth, making it perfect for setting a light. Many question why so many hollows carry... Oh! Oh, 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 I know what... <laughs> this is the fucking... <laughs> the weapon they use. But how do you light it, though? Or can you not light it? Okay, that's cool. So yeah, I think just from like where this mod is coming from that it's more Scholar of the First Sin than the mod maker trying to remake the entire game has basically allowed this to be a much better experience. And I know a lot of people like Daughters of Ash and I wasn't like against it but I thought that not all of the ideas were as good as maybe um, even the mod makers thought. You know, there was I had a feeling that it was a little bit more like um, I have this very specific idea for what this game should be, so I'm gonna do it. And this is more, this is much more like faithful to the game which is kind of exactly what I was fuck the head the herd box on this thing it's way better it's what I'm trying to say I don't know why I'm even going here like I have the very large ember uh, but maybe picking up a few chunkos wouldn't hurt. Of course I had a drop from a Dark Wraith and it was the fucking armor instead of the <laughs> instead of the chunk. Yeah, the armor is exactly what I want. Come on. At least this should be chunks. Speaking of, how many do I have? Shit, I have seven. Wait a second. So it's one... Nice, eight. I'm just trying to do quick maths. Here. I think that might actually be enough. Onyx Abyss Ring. This is what I wanted to check. We did get, okay. Channels power of the abyss. The ring was once lost with the flooding of New Londo. Its effects are <coughs> are uncertain and may be dangerous, but since ancient times, such mysteries of the abyss and dark have always fascinated mankind. Um. If I had to guess. Of course. No chest here either. If I had to guess on what this is, I'm gonna predict that it does something like karmic justice. Am I am I right? Am I wrong? Who the hell knows? 
I was afraid the fucking goats were gonna show up. But again, of course, the issue is that karmic justice is... Um, well, not very useful. At least in vanilla. You know, the issue with karmic justice is always that... Um, it only triggers by number of hits. So... You know... Where it's intended to help you against like larger enemies, it's never gonna help because uh, they just cannot get the amount of hits in necessary. The fact that there's a homeboy there kind of sucks. But there's also a gravestone. Um. Fuck it. I have one more coin. This better take me somewhere good. Nice. Firelink. I'll take that. I'll take that. Here's what we're gonna do. We'll go up. I mean, the effect it gives you is pretty nice looking. We'll go up and try to get our weapon to plus 15. I think once we have a plus 15 weapon like we could do DLC. I could also go back to Anorlando and try the dream boss. Oh! <laughs> I didn't notice. <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> I'm like, why the fuck am I Skeletor? Shit. Okay. I need to get some different gear on, man. I want to switch it up. I'm bored of the Artorius armor. Okay, get this fucking thing off. Hey, Silver Knight. The chess piece look pre looks pretty good. black iron maybe and like some sick interesting it's probably this is too heavy huh seriously shit that is more heavy <laughs> more heavy that is heavier Uh, man, that makes your legs look thick. Thick boy. Thick boy leggings. Fuck. Don't worry, I can like... I'm, go I'm, go I'm gonna get this to work somehow. Okay. That looks fairly decent. Silver Knight isn't... This is a nice looking set. It's only the helmet that sucks. It's tiny head, you know, that's what that's what it makes you. I don't know why I felt like switching up. Oh shit. The arrow holder clips through. Of course it clips through. Oh well. It's not the end of the world. It just kinda sucks. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll go do the deals. I'll go do the DLC. Can't even talk. Yeah, modify this bitch. The party zane. Where the fuck is it? I need to like sort out my shit. Please tell me I have enough. I do. Plus 15. Get. Do you sell an item box? No, you don't. Shit. Oh, you might as well repair everything. That's another thing. I 
I think I still have souls to level up. Which we'll do at the next bonfire. I'm not fat rolling, am I? Okay, I was worried for a second. Shit, that's the only miss that's the only thing that sucks. Is the the quiver, I think it's called, officially. The thing that holds the arrows. I think so. The fact that it clips through, that's the only thing that bothers me a little bit. About that damage though, that doesn't bother me. If I get some like, different shield. Probably have nothing that like actually looks good as well. And definitely nothing that's not gonna like overburden me. The other thing I could have done is um buff my pyro glove. Speaking of Blight Town, yeah, there's a lot of places to go. Thinking of trying to think of which one of the gravestones links to Blight Town. There is one. I think that might be the one that's inside the church. Yeah, I think it is. To see if the other pyro dealer is unlocked, because honestly, I need to switch my shit up. I mean, we're gonna have to switch it up anyways once I get the great sword of Artorius. Oh man, but I'm gonna be stuck in the DLC though, aren't I? Oh well. Oh, let's get... I'm really, really hoping it's 25 and I'm not just being an idiot. Lots of running now. I mean, I do like this type of... I've talked about this before, right? That I do appreciate this this warping mechanic. Um, the fact is, once you get the Lord Vessel, there's not much incentive to do exploration. Which is, you know, always a shame. Because exploration is half the fun in a Souls game. And of course the fact that the other games give you the ability to warp straight away. It's just, I don't know. Convenient, I guess, but... I'm about to sneeze. <sighs> Ugh, fuck. Sneezing, coughing. Good thing. You can't get diseases through your speakers, slash your earbuds, or however you're watching this. <laughs> gonna sound lovely for the rest of this episode yeah dusk, dusk is gone dusk is straight up gone oh well let's bite the bullet and get in here I'm wondering Yeah, still a Sanctuary Guardian, right? This is a shitty boss. No, no it's not. This is a... Oh, fuck. This is where you escape. I shouldn't try guessing. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I was gonna say that maybe that's the exit. That shit ain't it. Because I have the broken pendant, so I should be able to piece out of here. Oh well. I don't mind too much. She sells cast light though, as well, doesn't she? I have awaited thee. Thou has rescued Princess Dust. In the future, yes. What? Thank you. Really strange. 
because that's the dialogue she says once you've already finished the DLC. Because I haven't rid you of manners just yet. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Oh well. Ain't gonna wonder too much about that. Let's just go through the royal woods. Or at least attempt to start. I'm assuming usual shit, some remixed enemies, i.e. different placements. Although if I remember correctly, that was a theme of Daughters of Ash as well, that they didn't really touch the DLC. Which I respect, you know. Like the DLC, this is... Very well put together, like... I'd argue that this game has one of the best DLCs out of the series. So, if they don't fuck with it, I am 100% A-OK -okay with that. <laughs> what the hell? He's making a weird noise. Is this gonna deal any damage? Ah. Yeah, I was gonna say that my shit is not upgraded. Man, you know what the thing that sucks is? The Firekeeper souls are like incredibly rare in this game. And the issue is that I am stuck here. I have quite a lot of HP. And I'm stuck here with a plus one Estus. But literally, like, I've only gotten the one. Plus, of course, the one you get from Lotrek, but that's... What up? Yeah, I'm dressed like a silver knight. Should be angry at me. If we're gonna go by lore. No, no. Thank you. I think I got chunkos there. Ouch. That was a swing. That boy come out swinging. I'm screwed. <gasps> no, because he's an idiot. This is not the best place to fight this guy. And that's an understatement for sure. I was gonna say where they went, but they're just remixed, you know, there's no other way to put it. I mean, the general feel of this place is the same as always. Shit, it's gonna suck that I'm not gonna be able to get out of here then. I thought once I get the pendant, I could like peace out. That's what I was hoping for. Maybe there is a way though. I mean again, there is a wiki for this game, but it's kinda incomplete. So you can get like item, some item locations and shit like that, but it's not a comprehensive like guide, so that's why I'm a little bit afraid of. Um, well, not not afraid, but I don't know. I just want to use Artorius's sword. That's what I'm trying to say. I think if I could put what I'm feeling into one sentence. Apologies for the nose scratch. That was probably gross. If I could put what I'm feeling into one sentence, that would be it. I just want to use Artorius's great sword, because. Spears are great, but they do get a little bit boring after a while.
even this one which supposedly has like a more interesting moveset I wonder if these pranksters are gonna do something like the elevator not being active because you know how I tackle this place I run straight through Well, we're just gonna have to hope for the best. I'm like really throwing Elizabeth mushrooms at you. Okay, okay, they're not that prankster-ish. That would have been a good ass idea though, you gotta admit. When I release my Dark Souls 1 mod, you can bet your ass that's gonna happen. That didn't that didn't happen. Of course. Chester Abyssal vessel explodes inflicting dark damage. Interesting. He also sells arrows and bolts. Usual shit. Uh, I'm gonna stock up on a couple of these. Because, you know, you know what the deal is with Homeward Bones. Mega useful. That's going to be the last item I grab. I know what happens here. Wait. No, I'm confusing the two areas. An ambush happens in the normal present version of this place. Yeah, I think that about concludes this little episode nicely. Um, we're like hella going through this quickly. Oh shit. I thought that was an exit. I would have been so happy. Hey, listen, there must be a way out of here. We'll figure it out. We definitely need to kill Artorias before we do that too, but I think with that I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. Uh, this was a fun one. We made good progress, made up hopefully for the shorter episode from two days ago. Yeah, we're all good here. This game is fun. This mod is really fun. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe as always. Turn on post notifications. Peace out, everyone. Goodbye.